गुड आफ्टरनून नोवाइजीज and uh, and the critical analysis of the implementation of the promotion of the right to work for the refugees in Tanzania it is by Niabaga Sakina Paul work that i would like to delete today in the class yes uh, participants are you with me yes you have to give the answer whenever i ask some questions uh, is it clear okay now let us uh, go one after another and this is chapter 1 of course which i made the correction and uh, i don't know she said that she made the correction for that one and she sent to me let us check uh, because it is the her work which is now on the screen yeah this is her work which is on the screen and but this is in uh, i i i i don't think that i can change this work because it is in a pdf format okay but i can make the comments chapter 1 okay it is there general introduction then 1.1 introduction background of the study so okay there is no problem at all significance of the study research methodology research design literature review and scope and limitation of the studies but i would like to see where the hypothesis has come general object to object to significance and research methodology where is the hypothesis research she wrote the research question is a hypothesis that is the old style of making you know? but anyway it doesn't matter huh? so introduction but i could not see here what are the grammatical mistakes would be there because it is the in the pdf format okay then I generally i will make a comment over here and when you are writing the cap again she has committed a mistake because cap is a shortening form so shortening form always the first letter should be the capital letter and the rest of the other letter should be the small letter and ends with the full stop but here i cannot write the full stop because it is a pdf format so after the p there should be a full stop ebd okay now i'm very good ebd is a latin terminology hence it should be in italics but every footnote ends with the full stop that is the fundamental but where is the full stop after ebd hakuna hapana see i cannot see the grammar because it is a pdf format and then i will just see the citations are concern yeah research objectives it is written but uh, where is the research question statement of the problem okay after that one it will come general objective specific objective then this o, this o should be a capital letter again in the general objective g should be capital letter and o should be capital letter in the general objective and the specific objective is the same s is a capital letter and here also o is the capital letter it should be there so that is the way of writing okay and the specific objective general objectives are one and the specific objective are four then the hypothesis or research question should be five because the general objective is going to be the first hypothesis and the specific objective is the rest of the hypothesis so research question the main research question is how for the tanzan where is the right to work or there then it is made four it should be the five yeah the, these are the research questions would be tested over, over in this work then uh, uh, general hypothesis general objective is they're going to be turned into the first hypothesis and the rest of the specific four hypotheses will be take shape in the variables of the hypothesis 2 3 4 5 that is the way of writing so significance of the study research methodology is well good because it is in a pdf format and so i cannot make it out the changes are concern then comes the matter of uh, i don't know whether she did it or not okay the evo book edward in the evo book okay no matter and uh, here is another point uh, 
या डी के रिव्यू ऑफ द कार्ड इज आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज ए रिपोर्ट आर वेदर इट इज ए बुक सो वी शुड बी वेरी मच केयरफुल यू शुड बी वेरी मच क्लियर वेदर इज ए रिपोर्ट आर द बुक एंड सेलेक्टेड बिब्लियोग्राफी देन बुक्स and the refugee international no 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 not at all followed see here the title of the book is concerned it should be in italics the refugee r should be capital letter i and in will not be there because it is a proposition international law i should be capital letter in the international and the law l should be capital letter then it ends with the full stop then third edition that e should be capital letter and d should be small letter oxford university press okay then let us see the again the refugees and their human rights again the committed mistake and in and is a conjunction hence should not be capital letter and their uh, should not be used as a because the possessive one is concerned in the grammar then we should not be a capital letter t and the human rights h should be capital letter and r should be capital letter and this thing is missing here participants are you there because you are on the way but in the way also you can open it but i don't know whether in the way in the dara dara or the motor vehicle or the car okay now let us go to the another point here the right of the refugees and international law yes here again the r should be capital letter in the right way of of should not be because it is a proposition in the refugee r should be capital letter here in the refugees and under we are not supposed to write because it is a proposition and the international law the i should be capital letter l should be capital letter butterworth canada limited where is the publication i mean the edition if the edition if the Uh, first edition we need not to write if nothing edition is there then it deems to be the first edition but edition clearly mentioned then it should be mentioned here and uh, that is the way of right uh, then transformative weakness of the core labor right in changing welfare regime in the beneficiary what is this the welfare state globalization law berlin does it is it a journal article with the journal article okay he is the author and this is the title of the article but uh, where is the journal if suppose if it is a journal yes is well and good it should be italics means title of the journal but uh, welfare w should be capital letter in yes state s should be capital letter in the globalization g should be capital letter and we should not use it because it is a conjunction and without conjunction propositions and article they should not be in capital letters and international law then international law should be capital letter there the international i should be capital letter and law in the l should be capital letter hmm. yes uh, when it is a penguin books limited well and good uh, hum harmons worth middle sex england but generally the place of publication should have to come here not the name of the publisher should come here but here i found the penguins book limited is a name of the publisher and the middle sex are england or hamsworth perhaps we can use the first letter if first word if there are many many places are given but broad broader one we can make it out if the place of the is hamba how much worth is very famous then you can use this one if not we can use the middle sex because that is more familiar name in the england so general articles are concerned review of the card contains okay well and good but where is the volume number and the, and uh, volume number yes and uh, generally there is a volume number is there and there is a issue also there issue number value number and issue number this thing is are missing here and uh, when you see the refugees a journal of the okay why the 2000, 2006 year because when you write the apa style especially for the journals and you, i believe that you will you will write the same thing like author after the year should come and later on the title of the journal it should be near 
single in the comma, but uh, the journal title should be in the italics. Like uh, African Journal of International and Comparative Law, yes, it should be in italics. And uh, every journal title and the book title and the newspaper title, it will be end with the full stop. Or the year also, it ends with the full stop. But there is no full stop here. And if I want to make it, but it is there in the PDF format, so I cannot change it. So that is another hitch. Uh, then Godwin uh, Jill GS International Law and Human Rights. And when that, it is a book. If it is an article, yes, the L should be capital letter here. And, uh, and uh, with the conjunction, you should not use that as the conjunction, proposition, and articles. And the human rights, in the human H should be capital letter, in the rights R should be capital letter, then trends concerning, then C should be capital letter, and international I should be capital letter, migrants M should be capital letter, and refugee R should be capital letter. Again, the point comes international migration review. This is the Journal title hence should be the italics. Then journal title or the newspaper title and the book title which are should be in italics and ends with the full stop. But here they have to write the full stop. And when you are writing the pages 526 by 546 and you have to write the particular pages small p, small p, full stop. Then you have to write 526 to 546 full stop. So... If you see the, if you happen to see, let me, let me show you the thing. Here, this is the article and let, let me check it here what it comes. Yes, let me check it here. APA means, it's the style of writing. American Psychological Association, APA style of writing regarding the articles with example. So article review example of the APA style. The APA style article review example or article is concerned that we see that how article will be written in the APS style. So here, here the example of a literature review APS style. No, this is not the way. How do you make out of the APS style? No. APS style, we will write not article review. Article, okay, better you write in this way. APS style of footnote Footnote, footnote, N O T note regarding articles. Articles are general articles. Let me see. Regarding the footnotes regarding journal articles, we will say. Journal articles. Now it is very specific. Um, then they say APA said footnote in the journal articles are concerned and a plagiarism detection journal and articles results here APA said of journals articles how the citation should be there. How do you say a journal article in APA's time? So when you search it, uh, journal style, how do you cite a journal article in APA style? That means citing a journal article in APA style is easy with our free citation generator. Of course, your generator he has given APA style, MLA style, Chicago style. So these are the various styles. We can just fill it 
you fill it the APS style here and you write the contributor who is the author first name and middle initial name and the last name and suffix and you write the general article here then automatically it will generate its own way of the things <laughs> so the ready-made information which is wants to give it here so let us go to the we want to make it out APS style just we can write here APS style then it will give about the journals and about the everything. APA style of footnote. Here yeah. it will give the everything. What are the footnotes? How to use them? What are the footnotes? How to use them? But not which in the APA style. The sample of APA reference style here. Here how to write APA style references? The sample it is given. Let us see the sample. API reference list example, API references, yes, uh, this uh, list example that we see it, how it looks, the API style and great writing, of course, this is about uh, what's where you get it, no. So, great writing, simplified, what's where do we get it and beyond the grammar spelling, everyone can write the confidence. No, we want to know, get, uh, not grammarly, that uh, APA model of writing. And this is about the grammarly. No, we are not asking for the grammarly. We are asking for the how to write reference. APA style referencing we want. APA, uh, APA footnote with examples let that we want it yeah this this I actually we want how to cite foot foot how to cite a footnote in APA this way oh again they have given the model we don't want the model we want the example we we don't want the model we want the example What are, what are the footnotes? How do you use them? No, it's not. Free writing assistance. No, gradual is no. How to set a footnote in APA? But again, they are saying the example. No, reference in APA format example. Let us see this. What is the format example in the APA style? Oh, he has given so many. Reference in APA format example here. Here, reference APA format example in there are so many examples he has given. But again, they will write the different, different things. Actually, what we want, they don't cite it. Again, they say, understanding the APA, now APA style of paper and a reference to APA format example. And they wrote the several things, writing reference APA format. Uh, they have given, but they never say that this is the author. And the printed vision have said, no, this is not the way. So what I want to say is, APA style of writing, it is having it own. After the author, you are supposed to write the year. Then comes the title of your article, which should be in a single inverted comma. Then in which paper, I mean journal, title of the journal, it should be in italics. Then there is a volume number is there and the issue number is there. So that is what I want to ask to know the things. So anyway, that here you made it a PDF format, hence I could not change anything. And as usual, that I had make the what are the what are the refer where the you are committed a mistake. This I have pointed out, but nothing else I could do it in this uh, because that is the thing. Even the grammar cor correction also I cannot make it out here in this. So with this, I would like to start my today's lecture of the Sekina because again you have committed the mistakes and where you have committed the mistakes that I have already shown you and see that again you can correct them then you can submit the when you are bringing on the Monday and you come with a better, a revised version of your work 
which I noticed, I, I made it clear now. And if you see your uh, original work, uh, and uh, that is uh, only uh, your proposal here I, I heard, the Sakina proposal, and uh, there I, meant, meant, uh, I mentioned with the highlighted things, but uh, only you changed it uh, from the red to the black, and uh, I did not find it. Uh, the other changes are concerned. Like uh, shortening forms, the C should be capital letter, E, B should be small letter, ends with the full stop, I said. But you did not put the full stop after the cap. So that is the another hitch of you. Uh, I told many times that you have to write like this, you have to write like this. and uh, But I did not notice whether you are written the way that I have told. Because, for instance, the, I made that here, general introduction and the implementation, the promotion of the right to work, refugee in Jania, only you have to submit it for the chapter and how to, you have to read it, general reading. Okay, okay, you made it. But when your matter comes to the, I, I told here the hypothesis. Like again, you wrote the research questions. I don't know why you changed the hypothesis to the research question. If it is the format is there, okay, you can go in that style. And here I have shown you background of the study and how you have to write it. The small letter, the, the S should be the capital letter because that is the, generally the fundamental rule is concerned. And here, see, I specifically mentioned here, but still you did not made it. I also mentioned in your work, you are supposed to write in this way. And the EBIT, I told you that every, every footnote ends with the full stop. Then you are supposed to write the full stop here, EBIT. And I wrote now the full stop under the beat. Because it is in it is in the word format, hence I can easily make it change. And then I can highlight it also with the red. So that is the way that I told you, but I don't think that whether you did it or not, when you want to make it out here. See, when you come to the statement of the problem, yes, I said 1.3 after that you should remove it. Okay, that you removed it in your work. But other things I did not find the changes. For instance, research objectives and general objectives. And then I told you that you should write in the 1.1. One, one. Okay, you wrote it. But again, the research questions you wrote here. And there you put the hypothesis. Here you put the research questions. And uh, research questions for that you made it. But in the general objective one and its specific objective four, then it should reflect five. Then research question should also also reflected five. But I don't know. In the earlier there you wrote the hypothesis here, you wrote the research question. Why such a double way of writing? For instance, uh, the research questions and I told you that it is the old style of writing. Better you read the hypothesis. That is the new style of writing. Instead of writing the research questions, you better write the hypothesis. That is the best way. So a literary review, okay, you did it. Okay. I don't know how much that you did it in a proper way. Limitation of the study. Then you wrote the bibliography. But I told you to write the chapterization. But you did not write the chapterization. You happen to read my other uh, videos. A research proposal should have the chapterization. A research proposal should have the targeted group to whom that we are making the questionnaire. The questionnaire sample also should be given in the research proposal itself. And the questions also should not be in SN no type, but it is an explanatory type means open-ended question, you should not be there. Open-ended question means ended with the yes or no. So explanatory, the way that you should be given, and what are the statistical methods that you are using it to make the graphics also, you should have to make it out when you say the analysis of research material or research data. Either the pie charts that you are using it, are the bar charts that you are using, are the which graphic design that you are using, statistical method, 
he should appear there and when you enter the statistical method the data then the a graphs will come out so that also should be an important factor when you are making the thing so scope of the the limitation of the study you said the scope of this covers the refugees right to work in tanzania context the study will not examine other uh, the rights of the refugees okay that is uh, and uh, what are the other things we are going to face that will come across when you write the limitation of the study is concerned the scope inter international law including the refugee law as well as the human rights has which consistent the implementation of the refugee right to work but uh, when you see that other when you are going to complete it at the time that the limitations uh, of the, your work will be more because you can not get the a direct answer when you are approaching to the super respondents that is also limitation comes the hurdles that you are going to face it to complete your work and that is also limitation said you have to make it in your final work do not now you can come across it so these are the things you have to supposed to write it in your work and i, I told you that chaperation is there because in my article i very much clearly mentioned what are the things should come in the in the proposal see this is the article which i made it and everybody is having this article with them and there i clearly mentioned what are the things should come under the research proposal the proposal for the writing the students of the law and i told you that what are the things should be there if you happen to see the types of the research after the research design is concerned or the conducting the research or the component should be present over there components to answer the above issues which are devoted to research to understand all the elements of research proposal then these are things are there introduction background to the problem and the statement of the problem significance of the problem object to the problem and the literature review and later on comes the hypothesis but here the guidelines of the ugc is i mean south is different and generally the after literature review the hypothesis comes but here is a different way that you wrote it then time and the research progress in financial tables if it is sponsored by the any other organization at that instance that you can right it if it's self made then you need not to write the time research and progress in financial tables but chaperation is there and bibliographical selected schedules and the questionnaires in the annex that you have to mention out and the, the design of the questionnaire also should be clearly mentioned and uh, target group also that you have to mention in your uh, research design when you are making doubt who are the target group that you are going to interview them so these things will be appeared but i did not see that whether you wrote it uh, and these content should be appeared in your work see the bullet points which i put it over there it should appear in your introduction and the bullet points which i kept it here in the background of the problem and uh, then we can say the statement of the problem the bullet points what i is mentioned here should have to appear in your work addressed in your work in the significance of it then the objective of the study is a general objective is one and the specific objective are there what are the things should come in the objective of generally here the bullet points i mentioned and according to that you are supposed to write the specific objective also that what are the things should be there variables should be there which should come in the specific objective the bullet points which have there it should be clearly mentioned in your work and the literature review is concerned what what are the type of the literature review that what the author covered and what he did not cover that is specifically mentioned by the author here and the person so and so did up to that extent and when there is still gaps are there that gaps which are going to make it out you have to clearly mention in your literature review then uh, of course the color hypothesis comes over there hypothesis always should be in a, in a small roman numbers and uh, ends with the the arrester that is the style of writing and you are wrote the research question research questions are goes with the end end with the question marks but with the hypothesis are there which are in the small roman number 1 and each hypothesis ends with the semicolon but the last one but the last but one you have to write and then the last one that you have to write it so that is the thing which you have to make it out in your work when you come to the research questions of course 
either you write the hypothesis or write the research question both should not be written over there so that is what i suggested here so research question i told you it is nothing but the what you wrote mentioned in the specific hypothesis and general hypothesis and here the here and above the indicated point that the example of the research questions and can be simultaneously used in the same research proposal for the research intended but in short or sum up what i said the general objective general objective is deemed to be the first hypothesis and the specific objective is reflected in the second and third hypothesis in sequence to avoid the confusion it is better that researcher should omit the research questions uh, which is nothing but a specific objectives the author has mentioned to have the idea what would be the research question hence it should be mentioned in the article but that is the reason that i told you that you are try to avoid the research question because the research questions which is going to be becomes a, your uh, specific hypothesis and the general hypothesis is going to become a first hypothesis and the specific uh, objective should going to be turned to the second and third hypothesis that is the what i told in my article so the limitation of the study that we are going to make it at what are the difficulty that you are going to find it what are the confidentiality interviews that are litigated ground to declare the person's names before those who are interviewed and what are the things will come only that you will come the 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 area of the limitation of the studies will be more when you finish your work than the difficulty that you faced that should be that should be inserted in the limitation of the studies here you are doing your own work and hence uh, there is no necessity of the time and research progress and financial tables and framework is there but chapterization is must and targeted group that to whom that you are going to face the interviews are the target group the size of the group the age of the group the the qualification of the targeted group and that should be very much clearly mentioned in your work so these are the thing that i told you to write in your research proposal but i found many things are missing so chapter aisan missing and the questionnaire is missing and the way that you are supposed to write the style should have to follow that also uniformity should be used that is a american Uh, what is psychological association footnote uh, what that uh, sound has guided it uh, but still you have to see the model the how they wrote it and you have to write in the same manner yes any other thing that you would like to ask me that you can ask me but you are not present over there the participant i don't know whether you are still in the way or uh, you are gone yes even a matola also not present over there but uh, even this is for everyone who are my supervisors they should have to follow the way that i made it please read my watch my other uh, videos and you also watch uh, the videos which i have made for you especially when you are making and what are the mistakes that you have committed then i already shown and they kept on the screen also then highlighted with it with the red color but still you are committing the same thing so that is the polisana with this one i would like to wind up my today's uh, deliberations of uh, the second appal but still some time is there but she is not present hence i am not uh, going to say anything to her except you have to follow the what my article has given to you and what are the contents would be there that the same thing should be reflected in your work plus chapter edition should be there and the questionnaire should be prepared over there and the selected bibliography should have to go with the a proper way the full citation would be there how is the apa style of the book how it can be written and how a article can be written how a report can be written in the apa style and these are very much clearly mentioned and in the in the guidelines are concerned the university guidelines are concerned it is mentioned over there the same style of it should be followed of course if it is a research finding is research questions are mentioned there in the your guidelines yes you can follow it otherwise better you follow the hypothesis because the research questions are the the same the specific objectives are nothing but what do you want to repeat it and in the old style of making the research question better you write the hypothesis but i already told you that what i told you your general hypothesis is going to be turned into your first hypothesis and your specific hypothesis 
to whatever you mentioned is that becomes going to become the second and third and fourth or fifth hypothesis. I very specifically mentioned also there. But I, I, I repeat again. I repeat now. Your general hypothesis, general objective is going to be turned into your first hypothesis and your specific objectives are going to be turned into the second, third and fourth and five respectively. If there are four in the general uh, specific hypothesis, four, better you make only three because general, hypo general objective is one which is going to be turned into the first hypothesis and the specific objectives are which are there two, three, four or you can mention one, two, three that is going to be turned into be the second and third and fourth uh, hypothesis respectively in the hypothesis subheading. I don't know how far that you understood that point. The equation is very much clear. One general general objective and that general objective is going to be turned in the first hypothesis in your work and the specific hypothesis which you wrote one or two, three, that is going to be turned into the second and third and fourth hypothesis in your work. That is the equation. I don't know how many people they followed that equation when I several times I told you and I gave in my article also. And I have shown you the model also. In addition to that, still you are committing a mistakes in a such a manner. So that is the, you have to avoid it. I did not find the chaperation, the general research work also run into the chaperation. The first one is the introduction brings to the importance of the study and other things. The next chapter, what it contains that you have to make it very much clearly, the heading also and the, it's uh, what are the content should be come in the second chapter, what are the content should be come in the third chapter, what are the content should be come in the fourth chapter. But generally the last chapter goes with the Conclusion and recommendations. Our conclusions, research findings and recommendations. Our conclusions and recommendation and way forward. But generally you have to write only the two. It is enough. Because the number one, it goes the oral introduction. Number two, it is the conclusion. Number three, it is the recommendations or suggestions. But uh, better you write the recommendations rather than the suggestions because suggestion is the outdated one. Recommendation is the new type of writing the things. And if you happen to see any work of mine, those to whom I guided them, and uh, please uh, take the uh, a, a research work of my earlier students, at least you could have an idea that how they wrote and how I made them and that gives a sense to you. Please find out the my old senior, those who completed this time, my supervisors, please take their work and see their work in the same guidelines and also that you can prepare. I am sure that they have given their work to the examination branch or here. And uh, I am sure that it, one copy would be there, reaches to the library. From the library, you can tap it. If it is not reaches to the library, if it reaches to the dean or the department, Thank you.
Asante sana sikiliza darasa Mungu akubariki na kukulinda